You want to know if I needed a computer? I've been in law enforcement 35 years. I just started using computers. <laughs> Sheriff Mack, thank you so much, and Oath Keepers and all you that put this together. I want you to know, I know these rest of these guys feel the way I do, and these ladies, you have touched our heart. You've blessed us. You really have. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there's a, uh, a catchphrase that's been used now for some time, and it's talking about fundamentally changing America. You've heard it, right? Well, I coached football for 15 years, and you know, we, we taught kids the fundamentals of football, blocking assignments, how to tackle, so forth, to build a foundation, right, for the sport. Well, I believe, as you do, that our foundation in this country was ordained by God and inspired by God called the Constitution. And I know what this, this Constitution is built on. It's built on the rock. And you know who I'm talking about when I say the rock, right? Okay? So I don't, I don't believe that you or I or those that will come after us or that's going to join us is going to allow this foundation to be torn down. And to give you an example of that, I'll tell you, you remember the uh, earthquake we had last year in Washington, D.C.? Remember that? It was big news, wasn't it? You know that it, it uh, damaged a couple buildings. You know what two of them were? The National Cathedral and the Washington Monument. They both got damaged, but you know what wasn't damaged in either one of them? The foundation. That sends a message to me. You know why? because this foundation is built on the rock. I believe that we're in a war, and we are, brother. We're in a war physically and spiritually because the enemy from within and the enemy from without are two totally different things. The fundamental change they're trying to bring about I'm saying it's going to stop, and I'm taking a stand, and I know you are too. It's going to stop, and we're going to do everything we can in our power and in God's power to make sure that doesn't happen. You know, our, our forefathers, they gave up everything in order to form this union that we have, this republic we have. It hasn't come to that point for us yet. It may. But we have to be committed, and we can't retreat. We can't give up any more ground. Because like my brother here said, if we do, we're going to fall off the edge. So I say we take back ground, and we take the fight to them. And we do that by being organized and by standing on the Constitution. And with that, we will overcome this. I believe that. Thank you all so much, and God bless you.